Hi guys! I think Manhattan is a great place to stroll around and I would love to discover this part of concrete jungle by foot. So put on your sneakers and let's go! I'm now on the southwest side of Manhattan. So if Manhattan was a shoe, let me show you, we would be right over here and today we're going to walk this way and discover some really cool neighborhoods on the way. This is Bleecker Street. It runs through several neighborhoods but this is a more relaxed, posh, high-end part of it. I love it. It's full of all these really cool boutique designer stores. Oh nice! This is like a specialized high-end photo book shop. Beautiful. Oh my god, guys! This is the Magnolia Bakery. That's the famous bakery from Sex and the City. That's where the main characters went and got their cupcakes. Can we please go in? I must have a cupcake when I'm here. <laughs> oh, it smells so good. Check out my beautiful box. Mm, look at this. I got myself a red velvet with cream cheese and a vanilla with vanilla topping. You can never have too much vanilla. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'm so happy right now. It's really nice. It's very soft and spongy. Very, very sweet. But it's good. Sweet is good. Let's try the red velvet one. Oops, I got my hand on cream cheese. It's so beautiful. Look at it. Mm. I like this one better. Oh, this is good. This is really nice. It's less sweet. Less fluffy, but it tastes amazing. This is Greenwich Village, and as you can see, the vibe here is more relaxed, chilled, and I could totally say more funky. We're still on Bleecker Street, but I'm about to turn to Broadway and hop all the way over to Soho, which is one block only. So, I made my way to Soho, which by the way stands for south of Houston Street. It's a really good place to come if you want to go shopping. There are a lot of fashionistas here who come to get their outfits. And it's also good if you want to just go window shopping. Ta-da! You thought you lost me? Well, no, I made it all the way to Little Italy. It's better to be cheesy than not to be cheesy, and this is the right place to be cheesy. Everything is Italian. They got pizza over here, pasta over there, pizza over there, pasta over there. I mean, that's the right place to come if you feel something like that. Sisi! When in Italy, one must have a pizza slice, even if it's Little Italy in New York. They made me an offer I couldn't refuse. I put too much pepperoncini. <laughs> mm, nice. Good pizza. Good pizza, Happy Maria. <laughs> as simple as that. And surrounding little Italy is Chinatown. Let's go see what that's about. So interesting all the names are in English and Chinese and there are some foods that I've never seen before like jackfruit and sugar apple it looks like that and then you can hear Chinese as you walk through you actually don't feel like you're in New York everything is in Chinese people are only talking in Chinese it's quite an experience I must say oh and there is a fishy smell <laughs> oh my god they're still moving <laughs> They're still alive. Okay, that feels like a very big spider. Guys, it's been a lot of walking today, but I loved every minute of it. I have to say, I heard that New York is a melting pot, but I really got to experience that myself today. And the pizza just was delicious. My favorite is margarita. What's yours? 
comment below and the winner is gonna get this I Love NY Cup. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to come back next week. Bye.